What is up guys, Alex here, here at the Samsung Soundbar, this is the T650, in this video I'll be telling you guys about my experience, you know the setup and stuff like that, the sound quality, if it's actually good, um, you know the weight and stuff like that, Um, how loud it is as well, and my overall experience with this soundbar, but yeah, without further ado, let's get on into the video. So first things first, what comes in the box? I like the fact that it comes with stands that you can mount up to the wall if you don't want to have it on your table to keep some you know space reserved for your table. That's a pretty cool feature. It also has a screen on the sound bar that shows you you know if you're like at 100 percent, you know what mode you're on and stuff like that. That's also pretty cool. It is super light as well. It comes with a controller, an optical cable, and all the stuff you need to pretty much connect it. It takes up 350 watts of power, so pretty pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie, pretty heavy. Pretty much the same wattage of the 3090 graphics card. But yeah, um, it comes with a lot of things in the box. You know, super cool, super easy to set up as well. Um, I may be mounting it to the wall because I don't know. Maybe having it on the desk that just takes up too much space. So mounting it on the wall will probably do. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what came in the box. I want to talk about some of the specs that comes with this soundbar. It comes with 3.1 channels and a subwoofer uh, that's wireless, which is pretty cool, you know, keeping, you know, the, the space clean without any, you know, cables and stuff like that. And that, uh, you know, uh, the wireless is 6.5, which is super cool. Now, the things that it has, it is DTS certified, like DTS sound certified. It has Virtual X, DTS uh, Digital, Dolby, um, 3D Surround Sound, and, and DTS Virtual, which is really cool. This soundbar has actually a lot of things that make you feel more immersed in what you're watching, not just listening to it with like headphones and stuff like that. So it's also pretty cool that this soundbar has those things. And I said 350, but it's actually 340 watts. And again, super cool. And then you again, you can also mount it to the wall with the stands that it brings in the box, which is another cool thing that Samsung provided. And Samsung also provided batteries for the controller in the box, which again, super cool on their part. Part you don't have to go buy batteries uh, for the controller. If you're gonna use the controller, you don't have to buy the batteries. Again, also super cool. And this is also Bluetooth. It works with um Siri, Alexa, uh, Google. Like, so yeah, it works with a lot of things, you know, to play your music, and it's also Bluetooth. Even if you have it connected to your uh, TV, you can also connect it via Bluetooth and play your music if you don't want to, you know, open up YouTube and search the song that you have. You can just open up your phone, connect it via Bluetooth, open up Spotify, and use it like that. This thing also has game mode, and I'm pretty sure that is where it sets to a preset when you're playing a video game. So it detects if you have, like, a Nintendo Switch or a console connected to it, right? And it detects... Hold up, this man is playing a uh, Nintendo Switch. Okay, let's set let's set the game mode preset so the sounds he's more immersed into the game. He or she, I don't really care. Um, he or she is immersed immersed into the game more and more, you know, with that preset. But yeah, these are pretty much all the things that this soundbar brings. Super cool. The subwoofer is also super loud, and it goes to zero to one hundred, unlike the one that we actually use. That goes from zero to fifty. I believe, but other than that, the soundbar you should it's actually worth it. But, but yeah, those are all the specs. Now on to a sound test. Ustedes 
no importa. ¡Viva Hermes! Should you get this? 100%. If you want a cheap or a good soundbar that sounds really good, if you guys heard that sounds, this soundbar, this soundbar sounds fairly well. I recommend connecting it via the optical cable because that way you're able to connect as many consoles as you want. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a limit, but you can connect the PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, um, Wii U if you have one of those. Um, so you can connect a fair amount of consoles to this, and the sound will also, you know, instead of coming out of the TV, comes out of this soundbar and just makes you feel and just has a better sound quality overall. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I I'm probably gonna connect it via optical. You can connect it however you want. You know, works for you. But I'm pretty sure optical cable is gonna work for me. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys would actually get the soundbar for your TV or for your room. I don't know if you like console or something. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.